All right, in lesson 67, we're using prime factorization to reduce fractions. So let's say I have the fraction 375 over 1,000, and I want to reduce this number. So I, one way to do that is to use prime factorization. So I'm going to find the prime factorization of both numbers, starting with 375. And I'm going to do division by primes. So I know I can divide 375 by 5 because my last digit is a 5. So 3 goes into 37, or goes into 37 7 times, that's 35, subtract, get a 2, bring down the 5. 5 goes into 25 5 times. Okay, so we're going to divide that by 5. 5 goes into 7 once, that's 5. 7 minus 5 is 2, bring down 5. 2, bring down the 5. 5 goes into 25 5 times, 15. Divide by 5 again, and we get 3. And then we're going to divide the 3 by a 3 and end up with 1. So remember, my prime factorization are these numbers here. So we have 3 times 5 times 5 times 5. Now we're going to do 1,000. So 1,000, I can know I can divide that by 5. 5 goes into 10 two times, goes into 0, 0 times. Divide it again by 5. 5 goes into 20 four times, that's 20. 5 goes into 0, 0 times. Divide it by 5 again. 5 goes into 40 eight times. Divide that by 2. Remember, you have to divide by primes, so I cannot divide by 4. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Divide that by 2. 2 divided by 2, 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then we're going to do it one more time and end up with 1. So my prime factorization of 1,000 are these numbers. So that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. Okay. So now I can work on canceling my numbers. There we go. Oops. I work canceling my numbers. So I can do I cancel the fives, fives, and fives. So I end up with three over two times two times two, which is equal to three over two times two is four times two is eight. I end up with three eighths as my answer. Okay, we we'll do it one more time. This time we have one twenty-five over five hundred. So again, we need to do division by primes to figure out what my prime factorization is. Let's divide this by five. Five goes into twelve twice. That's ten. Ten. Twelve minus ten is two. Bring down the five is twenty-five. Five goes into twenty-five five times. Okay, do it by 5 again. Five, 25 divided by 5 is 5. And the last time, 5 divided by 5 is 1. So this equals 5 times 5 times 5. All right, so let's go ahead and do 500. I can divide 500 by 5 and get 100. Divide that by 5 and get 20. Divide that by 5 and get 4. So now I can divide 4 by 2 to get 2. Divide 2 by 2 again and get 1. So there's the prime factorization of 500. 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. Okay, now we cancel. My 5's cancel. Oops. Oh, so I can't have a zero on top. And remember, when we cancel, these are, we're turning these five into ones. So this is going to equal one, because I have nothing left on top except for one, over two times two, which is four. My answer is one-fourth. Make sure you don't put zero over four, because I'm not getting rid of these fives. I'm changing them into ones, because five over five is equal to one. 
All right, that's it. Good luck with your homework.